happening within the sector. I mean, all the discussion that happens around um, the social forces analysis, who, where is the source of power in this country? You know, all those sort of discussions and who influences what and all that, because that was a great opportunity. Because it's one um, uh, avenue for us to, to try and shape ourselves. And um, as the discussion went on, we realized there were so many uh, loopholes that we took for granted. Because just before we concluded the process in 2005, there was the lifting of the term limit, presidential term limits in Uganda. And some civil society, uh, majority of the sector actually was very hesitant to comment on, on the process. But I feel that tried received a challenging note. I mean, who are you? What credibility do you have to actually question this process that government is undertaking at the moment? Some of you have been leaders of these organizations for more than 15 years. We have not seen you change your positions. So in terms of governance, where did they write the, the credibility to actually question this? So that was an important point. We brought it back to, to the civil society implementation process. And we 